So in today's video, guys, we're going to compare the Elgato face cam, which shoots, by the way, at 1080p, 60 FPS, super popular webcam as of right now with a Sony Alpha 6000, you know. The full camera setup was around $1,000, guys. I don't have any professional lightning or anything like that in my room here. I'm just simply uploading Fortnite videos here, guys, on this channel usually. So therefore, I'm trying to give you an actual realistic way how most people are gonna use this, you know, just simply in their room, pop this thing on top of their monitor and see how good the quality is. If this video was helpful, guys, by the way, please don't forget to subscribe. This would help me out so much. And it's literally one click. And now let's get straight into it. So guys, and this part right now here is recorded on the Elgato face cam. And I gotta say, if you're an entry-level streamer, you just want to begin with content creation, YouTube, all that stuff, this is still a great choice, guys. It's definitely one of the more pricey webcams if you compare it with something like a C920, which you can get most likely for around 50, 60 bucks. This is of course on a whole nother level, but I gotta say, I heavily like this webcam, yeah? I've been using it for a very long time. And I gotta say, the only way why I did actually upgrade was because my audience grew a little bit, you know. What's like the only negative aspect is about it is we have no autofocus. So therefore, if I'm showing like right now here a controller, you can see there is no focusing happening whatsoever. Or if I just simply put my hand here straight in front, you can see there's no focus happening there. Besides that, you of course also still have the great Elgato software, which I have to say is amazing, by the way. Also, another thing is the more I'm actually going to now zoom into the picture, you can see how it's getting like less and less detailed. Like keep in mind guys, this is a 1080p camera without any sort of sharpening or anything working on there in the background. So therefore, yeah, if you want to use this maybe for like tech reviews, I know a lot of people actually try to get this one because they want to maybe do tech reviews, you know, review like mice and keyboards because it actually gives you a pretty decent picture, you know, in like normal 1080p, if you leave your zoom on maximum like two here in OBS, it's perfectly fine. But keep in mind, if you want to go for those details, especially while like zooming in, you know, let's just say you want to make TikTok content, especially, and you just simply want to have your face here. Here. It's not the clearest picture, but again, if you have it on a phone, you know, and it's anyways only like this small format, it should be fine. So guys, and here you can right now see the Elgato Facecam Pro and the first difference is we're shooting in actual 4K 60fps, which is amazing in the first place for a webcam. But keep in mind also, this webcam is gonna cost you almost the same as a used Sony Alpha in the 6000 series, you know? It's like 300 bucks, I think even like 349, I'm not quite sure anymore, something around that. And one thing which I have to say is kinda bad on this webcam is the autofocus, because as you guys can see right now, my microphone is fully sharp, 4K, fully in the focus but my face here in the back like there is motion there is like face recognition built into this webcam why does it happen that the object like this just because it's a little bit in front you know it's not even like by much this is maybe like a few centimeters is actually now blurring out my face and this is super annoying for content creation because you really gotta have your microphone somewhere out of the picture so you have to really zoom in which you of course can do because this webcam is 4k i can demonstrate it real quick but it's still really annoying, yeah? Just take a look here. So now we can fully zoom in, of course. We have still a pretty good picture. I'm not gonna lie there. Like, this is still insane for webcam. So when I now show here something, you know, you can see it's actually super high definition and everything. But you don't want to have to deal with this on a webcam, which costs you almost more than most used cameras. And even with the super light background, guys, we have no issues whatsoever. You can see everything is super high quality 4K footage. I can literally go back here. I'm still pretty good visible. The autofocus is really what's like messing this up kind of for me because you usually don't need 4K for a webcam as long as you don't want to use it maybe as me for actual like reviews. Like I use this for keyboard reviews as like a top down camera now. So therefore, if you just want to go for streaming, 
editing and all that stuff guys you're gonna be totally fine with the normal face cam you don't need the pro version in my opinion that's wasted money because if you're already going like this extra step to spend over 300 bucks on a webcam at this point just get a camera but if this video was helpful as mentioned guys please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much guys i put a lot of time and effort to give you really good reasonable comparisons not like from a guy sitting in a studio with like perfect lightning and all that stuff this is an actual real-time example of what i can recommend you let me know which one you like the most and which one do you think is the best bang for your buck because i do have to say i think the facecam pro is a super hard rival like not even like my full-on camera setup can't really compete too well with it keep in mind guys i'm already a little bit bigger on social media media so therefore at some point you have to get a camera because people expect it from you but if i would just like start right now or maybe start streaming on twitch you know taking it more serious this is the first step to taking content creation more serious 100 this is the best you can buy